Hello, guys, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Hello? Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go test my mic, like, one more time. I'm gonna go check it right now. Is it good? Okay, let me go test my mic, like, one more time. And, um, yeah, anyway, guys, um... Oh, it's good! Okay, anyway, guys, um... Let's go, um, test my mic, like, one more time, like, right now. And, um, yeah, anyway, guys, um... Okay, it's good. Anyway. Sorry, guys, I took a little bit long because... That's the restart thing. Previously on The Walking Dead. <laughs> Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about Yeah, was that Lee? Who said that? Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest? If you say so, Krista, um, I'm gonna go test my mic. My mic good? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go test my mic, like, one more time, and, um, yeah, uh... Let me go test my mic one more time, and, um, yeah, anyway, guys, um... Oh, let's go, anyway, guys, um, let's go. Focus on the game. I'm like by it. myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? Spit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit, if that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way. Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you. The Walking Dead, yes, guys. Uh, this is a little bit different now because I change it up. Just in case. Look at that guy. You know what I mean? You know, guys. Well, they shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. That bit, are you gonna cut that foot off? But that's how you save people if they're fast enough. What are you looking at? Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. What are you going to do? Hand me that there. Okay, you can do that. Yeah, well, it will. We're fast enough. We gotta hurry up before the blood gets in his brain. Not then, it's too late. 
gonna cut you could cut your leg off uh, bleed out like a stuck pig what are you gonna do carry me out of here on your back hell just just give me a minute try to get some rest there's a lot of stuff in here I'll try to find something to help Stupid kid. The keys are still in it. Well, worth a shot. in there anything we can use give me one of those probably tastes like pine tar by now but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one hand it here uh okay sir you got a light now he's gonna die why would I That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. Turning. Hey, you could have used it. Why would you? That's it. I know it's gonna hurt. Or at least. Are you alive? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <coughs> Why didn't you cut your, uh, your foot in the first place? Now you're about to turn. I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. But there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you. Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Been almost a day. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. 
I love you, Pete. Hope you're all right if you turn. Uh, it's gonna be Thank hard. Thank you, Pete. You go find my nephew now, right? Wait for my signal. And run straight to the woods. Just keep moving. All right. Let's get this over with. So to a house divided. Where's Nick anyway? Is he dead? I know Pete is gonna be dead. Uh poor Pete. Hope he's in heaven. Nick died then same thing. Clementine, are you alright? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My god. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe. Don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. You shouldn't scare people like that. Sorry, I just wanted to cheer you up. Oh, was there a... Uh... No offense, Sarah, but... Yeah, Isn't you can't scare people like that. No offense. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? <sighs> Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay. What do I do? The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath before you pull the trigger. <sighs> Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s sorry Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. 
Hey, Luke's back. Um, are you sure, Sarah? That is not Luke, to be honest. I don't think so. Guys, if you already watch it, you already know, but the people who are new, so I can't spoil it at all. Anyway. Uh. Like, hmm, I don't really have feeling. That's not Luke. Yep, see, it's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello? Get out of here, now. Is that how your dad taught you to greet a neighbor? I've got a gun. A smart girl. I would too. But I'm not a bad guy, honey. Promise you that. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? I'm Carly. Carly. That's a sweet name. Can't tell him her real name. You mind if I come in, Carly? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Would you please leave? This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. I'm alone. Really? Yeah, I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. A lot of plates for one person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri La. Where does this go? In the drawer there. Uh, I'll take that. Like what a pussy. They it's low a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. What's his name? Carlos. Duh. How do you know him? White's in trouble. They know Carver, then. Three Did moves away him? from checkmate. What was that? Oh, I farted. My what was that, anyway? Yeah, I farted. Do you smell that? <laughs> Ugh, man, did you fart it? I think I farted. I you said nobody's here. Hey, nobody's here. I farted. Nobody is here. I'll be right back. Hold on. Not quick, but you know, anyway, I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys, I took a little bit longer. I have to eat some breakfast and... Yeah, I have to pray before I eat breakfast and I have to brush my teeth so my breast won't smell like... Um... Poop. You know, my breast. Anyway, guys, um... I'm gonna test my mic, like, one more time before I continue the game and, um, yeah. Anyway, guys. Uh... Ooh, excuse me, guys. Just ignore that. Let's continue the game. Yeah, poor Pete. Yeah, I don't know what choices I pick. I, I have to tell him the fake name. I shouldn't say what's your name. He'll probably, he'll probably say something. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean. Gotta charge a controller before I leave Indeed. to get to my friend's house. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Uh. My sister. She's dead. Really? Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Thanks. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? <clears throat> Pete trusted me. <clears throat> you did, huh? <clears throat> you sure about that? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Day loca. Yeah, don't come back, day loca. Don't come back. You have a real good day now. Day loca, this guy. He's annoying. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? He won't because he's a pussy. He's scared to come back now. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. <clears throat> Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He I had forgot. A gun. I didn't, I know didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. It was Sarah's idea. I don't care whose idea it was. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must <clears throat> have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! 
We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. That's his name? He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. De loca. Look, That's the I'm guy, sorry right? To involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. He's a pussy anyway, don't worry. I can't trust that pussy. When I see him again, we have to find next episode or this episode later on. on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. Oh, well, he got right. bit. Is he alright? Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Ooh, excuse me. Huh. It's you a little bit different than... Just up here? You know. Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage yeah, of Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. Dang, I'm good girl. You, back there. you know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing Glenn just probably how would. I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I <sighs> still don't okay. know what to call her. <clears throat> or him if that man gets his wish. It might be a boy. <clears throat> Any ideas? Clem? Call me Alvin Jr. That's a good name. You should call him that. Oh, uh, it's Pete, Dad. Come on. Maybe. I don't know. Where's Pete anyway? There. That's where we were. If he got bit, it'll be easier. Maybe he'll stop Nick from shooting that Asian guy. Not trying to be racist. Okay. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Could be right, Alvin. Okay, let's go find him. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Is that him? Anyone see him? Uncle Pete! No! 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 Dang it! Oh my god. What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Cause like it'll be easier, but then we need Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. I love you, Pete. Hope you're in heaven. Yep, Nick. You should be all right. Oh, he got shot when he turned. Oof. Excuse me. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. He was bitten and scared. He saved my life. He wanted to see. He was scared and... Scared? My uncle? He got bit. Back... back in the stream. Fuck you. No way. Nick. Come on, man. Fuck off! Nick's gonna die, I think. He's Don't gonna come in suicide. Kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? And you sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. Yeah. I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Stay loca. Yeah. She's a crazy woman. Savage woman. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Ow. Now, if they're tracking us, 
We should be able to lose him up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Beck dies. I have nothing to say. G G G. Oh, hey, what's up? Welcome to my stream. Do you play The Walking Dead Season 2? Five days later, guys. Bella Bro. Uh oh. What's up? You're a boy or a girl? If you don't mind me asking. No, you know what I mean. So no, Italy. Oh. Okay, let me focus this game, okay? <clears throat> Sir. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. Here, eat this back. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. We need to keep your strength up, baby. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something ha- Okay. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. I know what that's like. Yeah. Like I said, Nick, the big boy. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. 
There are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I've got the big one. Hey, kid. Look, it's not like I don't know you have guts, but are you crazy? Maybe I am. Just stick with the plan, okay? If you say so, bud, come on, let me get the big boy. He's like, really? Go ahead, give it a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. Wow, Clem, you're a savage. <laughs> Damn. Now, don't do that again. Okay. Uh, Luke, how old are you? Does he smile a little bit too creepily at Clementine? And I don't think that's a good idea. No offense. No offense. You know what I mean. No offense. Nick, Nick better not shoot him. If he does, then I don't know what to say. Look, no. I'm okay. I'm just stuck. I can't read. It's okay. <clears throat> Clem, look, we'll figure something out. Behind you. Oh, shit. But dang, Clem time. I don't want you to curse those. Not now. Well, you could. Because you're. That's a game, you know what I mean? Well, dang, Clem time. I never see you curse, to be honest. Well, I believe, told you. Oh, Chris Ward didn't, yeah. Well, I didn't want him to kill you when you're like skin. Oh, come on, her hammer fell. Oh, I need something else. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. What? Why me? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And 
don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. You know, on second thought, maybe I should do the talking. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. I'm not an asshole. What, are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Don't shoot! Either way, he would die. Uh, dang it. Oh no! Dang it. I just ignore back from freaking here, guys. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Oh, dang it. He fell. Why didn't you shot him? Anyway, it's okay. To be honest. I saved P. Either way. Nick's alive. Forever! Uh. Who the fuck was that back there? Mm. I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man. He drew first. Shut up, Nick. I'm not trying to be rude. No offense. What did you see, Clem? Is that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't- Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? What? What's happening, Mom? Mom? Never mind. Sorry, guys. Um. Oh, Nick, come on. Anyway, I have to watch for him. Forgot about that. Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Come on, why would Thanks, he be Clem. lying? If he was, what? Rebecca, are you okay? I'm alright. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Hey, Clem, you check out that station yet? Not yet. Nick, I need to talk to you, please. No offense.
had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Yeah, of course. Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I already killed your mom. Huh? I remember when he sold me on it. No offense, but I already killed your mom. Plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. And I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. <sighs> this means... Thank you, Clem. Promise you to be what? nice? I'm gonna go talk to them. Hey. Hope you don't get mad again. Glad you guys watched. See? I know it's doing, but if they need something, then you have to be respectful. Anyway, let's go inside. I think that's the place. And Nick, I mean, not Nick. Um, the guy could be right. Let me see what Molina was talking about though. Cause she said there's something in there. I don't want to say the word. Cause I was taking a shower that time. It's dead. Yes, ma'am. I you guess he slept right. here. Yes, of course. Of course he had food too. And what the heck was that? Uh, sure. W M. Hmm. Wonder who that is. Feels pretty good. Yeah, but you don't know who it belonged. Who had it? Like you don't know what it was basically belonged to. Like I don't. Like what I'm trying to say, guys. I'm basically trying to say you don't know what person. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. Not lying. <clears throat> oh yeah, that is a charger chest. That, like my sister said. Hey, let's go. Heck yeah! God always know what kind of food you should get, like always. Man, not that we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He's out of control. That's what no I'm offense. saying. He keeps on like that, he's gonna get one of us killed. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? What woman? Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she shot another guy. Damn. What you do? We left her behind. Damn. Peaches. That's funny. She looks. Well, on my Fortnite brother, I'll come. I might just. If I take her with us, she is probably gonna. I can't say her name. Yeah, her dad died. But I'm probably gonna bring her and see what happened and tell her why would you shoot the guy? Yeah, shot. Guy, I don't want to say his name yet. It's just like you. You already know from the season four. 
Aw, thank you for saying that. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. No thanks. God knows okay. we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Yeah, you can say that. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. For. We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Maybe. You can't just say that. Damn. Unless. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Why you hate it? Sometimes why you hate it? <laughs> Just take it slow, <clears throat> and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Probably. Man, come on, Lou. Got a good grip. Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just just slow down, just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> the bird's like, you see what? Anything? Hear me, I have to get out of here. It's really dark. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Duh. Uh, is, that, is that what I think it is? Who's that guy with a green shirt? Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, Fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Please, just do what he says. Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I... I thought you were dead. No way. My mic was stuck in my head. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? 
We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Well, Kenny. Holy crap. I can't believe he's alive. Yeah, I thought he was dead. Everybody thought at first. Old friend. Yep, that's our trophy. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. I don't think I trust the hell Penny. We will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. I think I trust Kenny. Either way, if they said do you trust Kenny, I was like, not at all. It just depends. We have to put your backpack down, Good. Clementine. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. I can't believe the guy he died. Nick, why he did this? I trust you, Nick, though. Uh... What's going on? No. I miss you, but I gotta say something. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son... Well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. She ran away. Hope she's alive. Sounds like it ain't been easy for they you. They low that sorry, guy. Though. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh hell, all over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. 
Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Matthew. Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Who's Matthew? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Um, well, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Oh. Hey. Hey. Walt. Yeah, who's Matthew anyway? And what's your last hey, name? Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. Yeah, I didn't know where but he Kenny, was no, when that he never thing did. That. I don't actually know him that well. Really? I'm surprised. Seemed like you two were close. Okay, so basically Clem didn't know... He, he didn't tell Clem time... Or hang out with her that one. Well, either way, yeah, he did, but... He didn't tell her what happened before the zombie apocalypse start. That kind of disease virus thing. Not really. That was real oof. Not good. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Who's Matthew anyway? Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Um. <laughs> Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Oh yeah, that's what I found. Anyway, I'll Loading. take it from here. be friends with Kenny for now just in case but yeah I don't think I can trust him we'll see we just met him I mean we got back with him no offense to him but he is a good guy just in case but yeah maybe just in case anyway. cousin Jared's concert October 13th 1998 Crazy. Can be copyrighted. I wish they had better music. Reminds me of school. Yes, it does, Clem time. Say that to yourself. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, good my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage, freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. 
It means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. <laughs> Are you done talking now? Please, I wanna, you know, no offense, but you know what I mean. I haven't seen one of these since. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Oh. Everything takes a little coaxing these days. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Yeah, before that, um... A duck. <laughs> what a funny little guy. Oh, it's gonna be the same thing, okay. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? I'm gonna test my mic real quick, guys, and um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go test my mic quite right now, just in case. Anyway. Hello? Sorry guys. Hello guys. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go test my mic right now before I continue the game and um yeah. Anyway, let me go test my mic like right now and um yeah. Anyway guys, um oh it's good. Anyway guys. Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. Yeah, yeah. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. 
They could be hiding something. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Who's Matthew, Look, I don't anyway? Look, what that man said. We're staying here tonight. I know his name, but Just do talk you? to the rest of them. They trust But I can't spoil it, so yeah. See what yeah. you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? I just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time... <coughs> Huh? Mom, come on, can I go by my friend? Huh? Okay, I'm back, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, guys, don't forget later on, because we don't have time for Melina, right, Melina? So later on, she's going to do episode four, right? Okay, anyway, guys, let's play. I already feel a little less lonely, because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. Yeah, and who's Matthew? You want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. Gonna be a boy, probably. Name him Alvin Jr. Um, Rebecca. It's not his. Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you, too. You get some rest now. What? Angel. Okay, we get the angel guys. Melina, are you in episode four? Yeah. Oh. Okay. She looks so cool. Yep, it's an angel. Beautiful. Huh? Oh. What? Oh, from a random person who joined. 
And the angel... Yeah, I picked the angel. There's three in the box, right? I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. It does, um, Sarita. You and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be... Okay, better be quick, cause just in case. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Dang, well, don't be rude. The gentleman. But I'll tell you, when no I friends. met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. He's like, wow, Clementine, I thought you trusted me. Well, you beat me to Larry last season. Sorry, so if you don't know him, you'll see it. Yes. Yeah. Even if he was being rude, he will be nice later on. He won't be a threat. Uh, as only be nice anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. We were just talking about this, Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? They seem very accommodating for a bunch of people. Not trying to be rude, like I said. I never liked him. No well, why do you say that? Well, he's kind of a jerk. Yeah, I got that impression. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. Thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. Damn. I didn't know him that long. I thought you were old friends. Well, we kind of got separated. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. Yeah, what is that supposed so, to mean? Don't what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Well, what kind of place? Don't know much about it. Never been there, to be honest. I don't know much about it. But I heard of the word Wellington, it's but... It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Oh, Michigan? you're going to Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land. Don't be rude to him. Old ass winter, so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Kenny, stop. But Luke is my friend. Gentlemen, Kenny, please. be no nice, need please. For this. No fun. Thank you, Walter, and... Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Come on, be nice and Nick, please. 
I get a fight. I get in a fight with my ex-girlfriend, and I still get along. But Pass I don't. Me that can, I think I can trust her. No. <gasps> yeah, he said. Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Duck was his son. Yeah, we. I still trust Duck. My boy Duck. Were well, they a crush, Clementine, or hey, just Clementine, friend? Would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Sir, Kenny, please be good, okay? I'll trust you if you be good boy. He's like, ah, oh, Clem. I thought you trusted me, but I hope she trusts me soon. If I get along with Nick. I don't know, something like that. And who's Vanilla? Why are you calling Vanilla Ice? Okay, uh, Walter. I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Wait, I still trust Kanye now. If he be good, say sorry to Nick. Relationships and are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. We're gonna leave in the morning. No, no, you gotta stay. We have to keep moving. Clemson, yeah, because we'll have to something in happens. In this world, you don't have to do anything. They say the so world what? is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each Melina other. Melina Walter. Empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Uh huh. Huh? Oh, Melina, my mic is on. My mic is on. Where's Matthew? Why did Matthew die? Stein. If that's Matthew. Have you read him? Yeah, who's Matthew? Is that, well, is that we the have guy who died? Time to catch you up on your My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. Yeah, I got to In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, I got to tell you bad news. Right I think that is the guy. I don't know. If you're worrying about him. Right. right. I gotta tell you some bad news. Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clint. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise. Hey. Okay. Surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon, and everything will be fine. But I think. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not... Melina, I'm, I'm going to tell Walter about Matthew. Because I think that's Matthew, the Asian guy. I think. I can't spoil it, like, fully about him. No more. I was just going to check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Yeah, I'm Walter, I gotta tell you this. This is bad news. Wh what the heck? Miss? What the heck? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? What? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. Not from you, but I don't there. think I trust uh, you. Of course. Why don't you come in? No, Miss no, Walter. Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. We can't let her in. What? Oh! Sorry, guys. I'm hoping you enjoyed the video. Have a nice one. See you, and I'll see you guys later tomorrow. Peace.